We wanted to know what it's like to fight such a horrific, tricky disease. Deneen Balistrieri is a survivor of flesh-eating bacteria. She joins me live from Boston. Deneen, thanks so much for joining us. You contracted this bacteria while you were on holiday in Florida last year, and it's my understanding that, that at first you thought you'd just broken your foot. So how difficult was it to figure out what was really wrong with you? Well, first I want to say thank you for having me. Initially, they believed that I had broken my foot, or I did. And when I went to the first doctor to get it checked out, that was March 19th, no, March 20th, sorry. And they told me I had torn ligaments. And after my foot doubled, I went to an orthopedic. I had an MRI and, a cat and a, another x-ray done. And when the results came back negative the following Wednesday, I had blisters and um, dead skin on my, my right um, ankle in the inner part and they diagnosed me with necrotizing fasciitis as soon as I got to the hospital. Now we, we've got some pictures of the state you are in and I need to warn our viewers these really are very graphic and, and the thing that really stands out for me as we show them these images is how quickly your condition deteriorated. I mean you came home from vacation March 19th and you were basically in hospital four days later. Yes ma'am I I didn't have the blisters initially, and those appeared within hours. And they didn't know how far along my infection was. Usually it travels into the bloodstream. I got really lucky and it didn't attack my organs. I was going in for an amputation, though, because they didn't know how far the infection was. So you were going in for an amputation. And it's my understanding you were in so much pain that you were told that you, you, you know, basically you were looking at losing your foot, and you said you didn't care. Is that true? I was in so much pain at that point, it was basically like, take my foot off. It, wow. it, the pain is indescribable. I started out limping, and then gradually I just couldn't walk anymore. And I was okay with it at that point. You were like, if you need to take, take my foot, that's, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll deal with that. Exactly. Exactly. I did not, it didn't want it at that point. What goes through your... It was your frightening. In, I mean, it's incredibly fighting, even just to, to hear what happened to you directly from you. What goes through your mind when you hear about Amy Copeland and these other cases as someone who's, who's basically suffered from, from this bacteria? My heart breaks for Amy Copeland and any person who ever has to go through it. It's unexpected. I was at the prime of my life. I was 22 years old, weeks away from graduating college, and the unexpected happened, and I contracted this like vicious infection and it's you can't put a price on when someone tells you that this disease is deadly yeah and the fact that I almost didn't wake up with a foot doesn't measure to having my life yeah. still today so you, it's an honor to be alive still are you fully recovered now I mean talk to me about life today when you have that kind of perspective I mean, the emotional scars are still there. It's mentally and emotionally traumatizing to be in a hospital for a month and not having any control over what's going on. I'm a control type, like I like to be in control and I didn't have that. And it, I mean, to be where I am now, I'm very lucky I have a great support system and I encourage everyone to stand by Amy. She needs everyone the most right now. And I mean, I'm doing okay. Actually, I'm doing really well. But still, like speaking to you right now just brings all the emotions back yeah, to I where I was a year ago. Yeah, I can see that. You're and getting, you know, you're getting emotional. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you, you know, we appreciate you just opening up and telling us about what you went through. It's not easy to talk about, and it, it was, it's truly frightening. So, uh, Deneen, thank you so much for taking time out to speak to us here on New Center. And we're pleased that, you know, basically, again, you are alive. And, uh, you know, we'll keep, we'll keep in touch with you. Thank you so much for having me. It was an honor to speak with you. Thanks, Deneen. Take care. Now, if you're watching...